this is one of those weeks where it was just too incredibly you know sometimes I don't like using the word crazy but this week was crazy so it started with this funeral on Monday uh, which was really a wake on Sunday and then a funeral on Monday and out of town guests and I was very busy working on my channel trailer which is up now that for a less than two minute video really took the better part of the week which th that should not be but it did so that left me with very little time to come up with the regular content of course last month I was trying to post two to three times a week this month that's just not happening so instead of a normal video I'm gonna show you some clips from last week that I thought I would base a video around and they didn't really materialize into anything but they need to be seen at one point we ran into a little issue at work and I needed to go out and buy 1600 hot dogs let's go get some hot dogs let's go get some hot dogs oh boy why don't I just show you the whole hot dog video now roll that beautiful hot dog footage First stop, price right. Forty something. Okay, first stop. I got thirty-seven packages, which is do the math. That's uh, not where I wanted to be. It means I need to make more stops. Uh, and I'm already getting questions from people like, why are you buying so many hot dogs? So, let's go. Store number two. I hope they have enough hot dogs. Okay, grand total is 656 hot dogs. I'm gonna um, take my chances over at Walmart. Their stuff is more expensive than Price Right. Thank you, Price Right. This is getting to be expensive. Price right and Walmart. Thank you. This is what 200 packages of hot dogs looks like, or 1,600 hot dogs. I'm gonna take this time now that I'm done buying all the hot dogs to reflect on what the hot dogs mean to me. First of all, let, let's back it up a little bit and talk about why I bought hot dogs. Why not anything else? Uh, there's a couple of reasons. One, people demand their meat. We could try to supplement with whatever different proteins we have available to us, whether it be canned beans or whatever, people are gonna complain. Meat doesn't always come to us through our food bank. So uh, we have to get creative, and this time we actually had to go out and spend uh, you know, a couple hundred dollars on meat. So, point number two, this is the most cost-effective way we can give people their meat. If you try buying just about any other meat product, uh, it's going to be an arm and a leg, no pun intended. If you try to supplement with chicken or whatever else, hot dogs are just a cheap product. The downside is they have a lot of fillers in there. They're not the greatest food product. I would personally love to receive ham, cold cuts, whatever, turkey. We just don't have that luxury. We don't have the money for it. So really, hot dogs are where it's at. On a more basic level, it's not about me. It's not about the money I have to spend. When it comes down to it, they're wieners. They're not einers or uners. They're wieners. That was a horrible joke. That was fun. Then I had to start working on some smaller projects around the house. You'll be seeing a lot more of those coming up, 
because I really want to focus on a lot of the smaller projects that add up to a big difference both in the appearance of this house which just needs to be finished and my mental health which uh, as we know incomplete projects can be the thorn in our side a lot of times so finishing those very important and then this morning i had an opportunity to buy some tickets to a show that i've been meaning to go to i'm a big fan of nine inch nails i haven't seen them live since 2000 Yes, that's Y2K. It was about time to make that happen again. They announced a show in Cleveland. That's the closest show to me. So I said, to heck with it. I'm making it happen. And I failed miserably. I don't know what happened, but there were just too many people in that queue. And I didn't get to even try. This morning, I got my next chance. Let me show you how that worked out. Starting to have flashbacks. This last time didn't work out that great. Okay, let's watch together. My sniping skills really aren't what they used to be. It's been less than one minute for like five minutes now. Okay, okay. Number's lower than it was the last time. I'm digging it. You know, I let the dogs outside like 10 minutes ago and I haven't checked on them since. I really hope they're still back there. Is this happening? What the frick? Why not? I'll do it. Am I, am I doing this? I'm doing this. Yes! Yes! Uh, no. No. Yes! I did it! Yes, there's more I want to show you. The follow-up to my ADHD exam video, my Adderall vlog. And that's not exactly done yet, but that should be out later this week. I really want to describe to you exactly the range of feelings and emotions and sensations that are happening based around this new medication that I'm taking. It's pretty amazing, but there's some stuff that I think people should know before they start taking Adderall. Expect that very soon. Until then, I'm going to go back to working on editing and finishing my work week. Until next time, please like and subscribe and I will see you then.